Rotax Light comes out. Stay with us here in Dubbo. You're watching the grand finals of the Rotax Max Pro Tour here in season 2016. Pacific Cartsport offers a great range of carts and spare parts, servicing, race preparation and driver training. Get in touch with Dale or Adam today at pacificcarts.com. We're back here at Dubbo this afternoon for the grand final of the 2016 Rotax Pro Tour. Trust you're enjoying the action. Out on circuit at the moment is Minimax for their final over 17 laps. These youngsters have put on one hell of a show. Heading up to the hill to get themselves into their two by twos. I think we're going to see a pretty cool final in this one. So down they come. Huey Barter and Jack Westbury off the front row. The two Pragas. As you can see, two very different go karts. In terms of size, Huey Bart is still very much in that kitty sort of chassis, the junior chassis. As they set for a start this time. Now, Starter wasn't happy. Our second row there weren't exactly playing the game too well. James Wharton will start at a three with Will Harper in the 66 on the outside second row. Luke Pink in the 49. We'll have Cody Mains Rutty alongside him in the bright yellow. Skidaria PCR number 69. Keep an eye on Mains Rutty. He was very competitive during the course of the pre-final, the Sydney Sider. Connor Davison and Kai Allen will start from position eight. That's a little bit further back than Kai Allen is accustomed to. Jonathan Markison and Bailey Hazard off the fifth row. Angus Given and Ethan Feather. Then Jared Hughes, Dylan DeBona, and Jake Beatty is your field. So down they come. Barter and Westbury. Barter's on his way to the World Finals in a couple of weeks' time. Set for a start this time. Down to turn number one. Who's going to get the jump? Set for a start. Same problem as last time. It's the outside of row number two. Not getting the run onto the front straight away. It's making the nerves rise a little bit more. Fairly picturesque view here at Lincoln County Raceway, about 10 minutes outside the city of Dubbo in the west of New South Wales, very much a transport hub for Australia, the east coast of Australia, about eight to 10 hours from pretty much everywhere. The satellite dishes in the background have been fairly active throughout the course of what is a beautiful day here in Dubbo. Pacific Kart Sport bringing us Minimax, of course, last weekend, Pacific Kart Sports, Adam Mercer took out the X30 Australian Championship and what 
a final that was. Adams here actually helping out Ethan Feather this weekend in the 12. Uh, so there's a problem out there for the 66 of Harper. So that will explain why he wasn't able to get away. So he's going to pull off to the side of the circuit and we should be right to get a start this time, I hope. Here we go. Racing. And our pulse hit a barter, missed the start there, and Westbury gets away to the lead. So Westbury's got the best of the lead. What about the start by Cody Mains Ruddy? One's gone off into the dirt. Cody Mains Ruddy's come from six up to second. So the driver of the number 69, PCR, has had a brilliant start. They work their way down the hill. So Westbury leads. And up into third place now goes James Wharton. In fourth place then is Kai Allen. So across the start finish line they go. The 55 of Bailey Hazard. He's in the mix as well. This is going to turn out to be a great race. I thought it would. These guys always turn on a good race. What about the two Schmick races in third and fourth? Kai Allen in fourth place behind James Wharton. These two have had some tremendous battles throughout the year. To the double left at Mojo they go. Jack Westbridge, your leader in the Praga cart. He's had a good weekend so far, Jack Westbury. Hasn't had the outright pace to be up the front, but has certainly chipped away at it. Earned himself a front row start, and now is leading the race. However, I think that Cody Mains Ruddy might have something to say about that on home soil. Bit of coaching going on from the sidelines down here on the front straightaway as well. Push forward is the call from Dad on the sideline. Through the left-hander at turn number four. Hope you're enjoying the action wherever you're watching us from on rotax.com.au. DVDs available next week as well through international karting distributors. Every race of the weekend, up through the top part of the racetrack they go. Westbury leads by two tenths of a second over Cody Mains Ruddy. Looks as though Wharton started to close the gap here to Mains Ruddy. Hugh Barter back there in fifth spot. Wharton will be the other Australian representative at the World Finals a couple of weeks' time in Sarno. He sits third at the moment on the track. Mains Ruddy in second. Kai Allen back there in fourth. Oh, Mains Ruddy got a run there out of that fourth turn. Not quite sure what happened to Westbury coming through the early part of the lap, but Mains Ruddy got a good run, and Wharton's closing up as well. So the race is on here between our top four as they cross the hill for the sixth time in the 17-lap affair, the grand final of Minimax this weekend. Oh, Mains Ruddy makes a mistake, and that opens the door for Wharton, and he takes full advantage of it. So James Wharton goes up to second. That leaves Mains Ruddy vulnerable then to the number 26 of Kai Allen. Kai Allen all over the back of Cody Mains Ruddy as they come out of turn number four. This is music to the ears of Hugh Barter in fifth spot. He got shuffled back from pole in the early runnings. He's much quicker than those in front of him. Is the driver of the number 58, Praga. So I love the fact that they're having their own little battle so he can catch up and be back part of it again. Up to the top turn, they run. This is the end of lap number seven. Ten laps left to go now. Jack Westbury aboard the number two Praga cart. Leads by three tenths of a second over James Wharton. 
who just establishes a new fastest lap of 52.581. So Allen ravishing the back of Cody Mains Ruddy, trying to get a pass affected on the young Sydney sider as they work their way up the hill. Westbury's opened the gap slightly. It was three tenths of a second as they went through last time. Barter putting in the big ones in fifth spot, trying to catch up to the top four to make it a race in five. The little fella down over the steering wheel. Hugh Barter in fifth spot is the fastest of our top group at the moment. A 52.584 that lap for Barter. Plays a 52.693 for Allen. 6.99 for Mains Ruddy. The slowest, in fact, is actually Jack Westbury at the front of the field, a 52.829. So the gap was 0.2 of a second. If they do the same lap times this time around, James Wharton will be on racing terms by the end of this lap. So Jack Westbury has got to try and find something to try and maintain the lead of the race. Perhaps a pass from someone like a Wharton might be the kick in the tail that Westbury needs to push on as they come back to the start finish line with eight laps left to go. Uh, Westbury responds a 52.690. So he's back on the pace of those around him now. Up the max attack back straight away they go. Still trying to work out exactly the format of this race. How it's going to play out. There's plenty of laps left to go for these youngsters. Still about seven and a half minutes worth of racing to go. Here as now Kai Allen decides that it's time to have a crack for the podium. But he cracked too early. And that allowed the number 69. If Cody Mains ready to come back at him. A lot of helmet pointing going on today saying think, think, think. The grand final pressure's on. Just three more races left after this one. Rotax Light, Junior Max and DD2. What a way to end what has been a brilliant grand final weekend here at Dubbo. Props to the Dubbo Car Club for the effort in bringing this race meeting here again. So now, Allen lines up for this move for third spot. Just out of sequence it was there and Allen gets it done. That brings Barter back into the mix of our top five again. So the best thing that could happen here is that uh, Barter and Mains Ruddy follow Kai Allen. Well, Barter's having none of that. He's gone straight up the inside and takes the fourth spot. So Mains Ruddy in the space of two corners has gone from third back to fifth. Now Barter wants to get in the slipstream of that CRG, the number 26 lifestyle cart, and chase down James Wharton. And Jack Westbury. So it's Praga versus CRG, the two Italian giants, in one, two, three, and four at the moment. Five and a half laps left to go. Wharton was quicker than Westbury on that last lap. Back to the start line they come. Five to go now. Pretty warm conditions out there. Westbridge responded to Wharton. Cody Mains Ruddy's the fastest of our top group at the moment back there in fifth spot. Quite unbelievable considering he lost a place during the course of that lap as well. So you wonder if James Wharton sitting there in second spot has got anything left for Jack Westbury.
Wharton will no doubt do a great job in representing Australia at the World Finals in Sano. Back to the front stretch this time. Four laps to go now. Can we get a grandstand finish here? These youngsters usually turn it on this stage of the race to ensure that we do. But Westbury just continues to push on. This has been a terrific drive, possibly the drive of the day from Jack Westbury. He's been under pressure since the start, but has just kept himself totally cool out in front. He's responded when he's needed to. He's kept this whole race under control as they go through the left-hander at the top of the hill. Fifty-two two on the last lap for Westbury. Fifty-two three for Wharton. Wharton looks slightly closer, but he's got to do it hard to get past. Is now back there in third spot. Hugh Barter gets his way past Kai Allen. We'll see if Allen's got anything left. With three laps to go now. Point one five one was the gap as they crossed the line. Through the flip-flop and up the hill. It's going to be a big effort from Wharton. He's really got to find something here over the next two and a half laps. If he is to have a crack at Jack Westbury, we'll do a quick run-through for you. It's Westbury from Wharton, then Barter from Allen. Mains Ruddy in fifth, Luke Pink, Connor Davidson in seventh, then Hazard, Giffen. Marcus and Hughes to Bono and Beatty. Problems for Feather and Harper never got away at the start. Back to the start, finish straight, they come again.